at the moment there is nothing to demonstrate against as we know that uh, Sadak itself is just a, gr a, a grouping of idiots, people who do not respect uh, human rights, people who do not respect uh, other countries' constitution, people who do not respect the their own constitution. So Sadak... Yuda, Yuda, don't I, I'm talking to my father. Allow me, allow me, allow me to talk. I cannot allow you to insult the head of states, the heads of states. Allow me to talk. There is no head of state in Sadak. Those are thugs. Okay. Those are thugs. So, I'll, there I'll there are people. To you, so let I'll me tell you. you those are thugs. They are not head of states. Because if they were head of states, they would have they would have adhered to the report that their organ wrote. Okay. Condemning okay. Munangagwa as okay. an illegitimate so, president so, so, of that country. So, so, and for them to come and gather in Zimbabwe around an illegitimate person that is tantamount to urinating on the face of Sadak. We have soldiers on the streets every day when they go and come back from work, when they do the exercises. Uh, the fact that there is a concentration of soldiers in one area must not shock us. We always see our soldiers. We have soldiers on the road every day. And today their duties requires them to be in the streets. So I think we will start by saying, Simba, there is nothing wrong completely, nothing wrong at all uh, by deploying the soldiers in the streets. Let's look at the background. Why are they deploying soldiers? The soldiers are there to maintain and keep peace. We are going to have heads of states, about 12, if not 13, heads of states who are coming from 13 countries, member states of SADC, and they need protection. So it is the duty of Zimbabwean government to protect the heads of states who are coming into Zimbabwe for the SADC summit. So the presence of the soldiers in the streets is not only for um, uh, uh, to stop people from demonstrating. No, it is actually to make sure that the people, um, the, the, our visitors, will be safe and there will be tranquility, peace, and, and, um, and total uh, 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 tranquility in the, in, the, um, in the country. And therefore, it is surprising if anybody is surprised or shocked about the soldiers who have been um, deployed in Chitungu, Zamavuku, and some few other areas. The idea is not to intimidate or arrest or beat people. It's simply to check if the cars are still fit for the road and their direction in Chitungu, And um, while they are there, if anybody tries to start um, a, a, a demonstration uh, in front of our visitors, the soldiers will use what is called a um, military diplomat diplomacy, which is a, a diplomatic way to persuade people to go back home without violence. We further say, um, Yuda, uh, before you shake your head too much, you must appreciate and understand that those who are being arrested uh, in Zimbabwe, they are not arrested for nothing. They are being arrested because they are planning havoc, anarchy, and um, uh, 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 a destabilization of a peaceful summit which is going to go on so uh, and the the so the police don't just arrest for nothing there is a vast <laughs> and a lot of intelligence uh um, they found in their yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can't i can't uh listen to your nonsense okay let me finish my uh, no 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 I, I, we can't let you finish. Our no, allowed no, 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 I can't let you finish. Let's give him, let's you give him, let's give him one minute to finalize and then, and then Mr. Ida, you can jump in. Just let's finalize, do. Dr. Mavaza, one you minute. Yuda is please. already demonstrating uh, the, 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 the spirit of disturbance, disruption and violence by his supporters and those he follows. So I was saying, in short, those who are being arrested, they are arrested because investigations have shown that they are planning and they are leading 
um, demonstrations against Zimbabwe. It is a shame that people want to show uh, or come up and demonstrate only when there is a, a regional or national function. Uh, this event is not an event to make Comrade um, Mnangagwa uh, the chairperson. This is an event which is done to discuss the issues of SADC. And at the end of the discussions, then um, Angola will then hand over the chairmanship to Zimbabwe. It is not like the, uh, 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 the, the president is the one in person who has been appointed. It is Zimbabwe leading, and the face of Zimbabwe in this area uh, tenure is Comrade Emerson Tambuzo Mnangagwa. And therefore, in conclusion, there is nothing wrong in arresting these uh, noisemakers, warmongers, and those who are such uh, um, um, purpose to disrupt, tarnish the image of the country. It's, an, it's a, a good idea that they should be arrested and kept in custody. And when the case is done, we believe that the courts will be very fair and give them sharp but very effective sentences, which will be custodial in future. And again, Yuda, as you come in, I want you to look at what is happening in the UK now. The, the government deployed the police. People are being arrested for whatever they are doing. So if you go on the street and cause havoc, Zimbabwe will do exactly what is being done here to arrest those perpetrators and discipline them and take them to prison to learn more, to learn peace. And this is what we are doing. Yuda. It is so sad uh, to have uh, Mavaza as a Zimbabwean. I think the gentleman belongs to Boko Haram, uh, where they destroy people's uh, uh, lives at will. The gentleman belongs anyone. to Boko Haram. Yeah, he uh, belongs to Boko Haram. Because there is no sane Zimbabwean who can support him Nangagwa's deployment of uh, the army in Zimbabwe 45 years of independence. We have never had war since. Uh, war ended in 1980. We had a bit of disturbances in Matebeleland, uh, which did not uh, fall into a full-fledged war in Zimbabwe. So for the continued um, deployment of um, army is violation of people's rights. Zimbabweans are bound by the constitution and in the constitution, there are sections that allow them to demonstrate if they feel they want to demonstrate. And uh, <clears throat> knocking people's doors like the NAS used to do, uh, uh, knocking people's doors, abducting people, that is not arrest. Uh, let me correct Mr. Mavaza, that an abduction is different from an arrest. What we are witnessing in our country is a total breach of the Zimbabwe constitution where the security forces are abducting uh, people. They are not arresting people. Until now, we don't know where some people are, where they are kept. So it's wrong for uh, Dr. Mavaza, who resides in a first world, uh, to uh, support uh, rather than co uh, um, um, rather than uh, condemn Munangagwa for use of fear and deploy the army where they are not needed. It's unnecessary deployment, waste of uh, set funds, waste of set um, materials. Waste. It's a waste. He does not know how much uh, deploying a soldier, one soldier in the streets will cost a day. He doesn't know it. This is why you see, if you come to England, we have got riots today, but you, you you have never seen army vehicles here. You have never seen soldiers on the streets in in, in the United Kingdom, because they it's not a cost effective. Uh, it doesn't benefit anyone to deploy those soldiers. Even if Zimbabweans they want to demonstrate, they can still go ahead with those soldiers on the streets. It's happening else everywhere in the world. So it's, it's, it's just a, an old trick. Mnangagwa is using the 1960s politics of intimidation, intimidating people for no apparent reason. 
Right now, Zimbabweans have never expressed and 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 willingness to demonstrate. I've never seen a Zimbabwean saying, "I am going to demonstrate. I want to demonstrate," because totally, at the moment, there is nothing to demonstrate against. As we know that uh, Sadak itself is just a, gr a a grouping of idiots, people who do not respect uh, human rights. People who do not respect uh, other countries' constitution. You People who do not the, respect the, their own constitution. The, so start Yuda, that. Yuda, Yuda, don't, I, I'm talking with my father. Allow me, allow me, allow me to talk. I cannot allow you to insult the head of states, the heads of states. Allow me to talk. There is no head of state in Sadak. Those are thugs. Okay. Those are thugs. So, there are people. You, uh, let me tell you, you those are thugs. They are not head of states. Because if they were head of states, they would have uh, they would have adhered to the report that their organ wrote, okay. condemning okay. Munangagwa as okay. an illegitimate so, president so, so, of that country. So, so, and for them to come and gather in Zimbabwe around an illegitimate person that is tantamount to urinating on the face of Sadak. Making Sadak, uh, making Sadak, making Sadak a, 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 a useless organ in Africa, in the world, and no one has to listen to Sadak now. Uh, because it's toothless. They cannot come and dine with an illegitimate president. They are seeing, they are watching now in Zambia, in, in, in DRC, wherever they are, they are watching people being abducted because of Sadak. Instead of us to lay a red carpet, welcome them. Munangagwa is laying our blood for them to step on it. It's no longer a red carpet, it's red blood all over Zimbabwe for the sake of Sadak. What does it bring to Zimbabwe? What are the benefits of Sadak to Zimbabwe? Right. They have shown that, pardon? I, I, I will tell you the benefits. Of no, 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 no. No, no, no. I, I, I'm well informed about Sadak, Ms. Mavaza. I don't need anyone to tell me. I've never seen any benefit from Sadak. Zimbabwe today is in this mess because of Sadak. No, when uh, they said, I'm, let's, I'm, when I'm, they said, no, I'm talking. When they said, let's deploy soldiers in DRC, some countries refused because they knew their economies were weak to sustain a war. But we, we had idiots as leaders. People who decided to deploy <laughs> soldiers. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. But you don't vomit. We need to let me talk. We had idiots. We had idiots in the government who decided to deploy soldiers whilst they knew they don't have the resources to sustain a war. And Zimbabwe is in this mess today because of that war, because of Sadak. So I am saying that grouping. It's a club of idiots, a club of clowns, a club of a club of people who who have got no morals, a club of people who clap hands whilst Mnangagwa is butchering the citizens of a country on a daily basis, a cloud of clowns that watch Zimbabweans being stampeded on, being shot at without taking action to stop it. Okay. So if Zimbabweans want, if Zimbabweans but, want to demonstrate, it's, it's in their constitution. They are allowed to do it by the constitution, okay, and no one has got the right to, to stop Zimbabweans from demonstrating. Yuda, it's my turn to respond to what you've said. No, 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 no. I wanted yeah. to respond. I wanted to respond to you, and you said you want to finish. Let, yeah, allow me to finish. Now. Allow me to finish. Allow me to finish. How many minutes do you want? I even ten. No, 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 I'm mad. You just yeah, allow me to finish. Why allow me to finish and clarify what you are doing wrong. I'm not doing anything wrong. What I'm saying here, I am saying exactly what every Zimbabwean is feeling back home. No, that's that wrong. The deployment, no, 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 that the deployment, no, the deployment of soldiers, the deployment of soldiers on the streets is totally nothing to do with the Sadak. Okay. Because okay. Zimbabwe did not know that Sadak countries are, or Sadak head of states are coming. They didn't know yesterday. They, they knew it since last year. We have never seen soldiers deployed since last year. 
Because the preparation... If, 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 let, let me say, let me tell you, Mr. Mavaza, if the Zimbabweans wanted to be unruly or wanted to start a war, they could have brought weapons and everything to start any war in Zimbabwe by now. Zimbabweans are peaceful. And your, your deployment of soldiers has come very late. So okay. you are not security conscious. Now that it finished. has come very late. It has come because you are now you are now provoking people to, 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 to uprise. Judah. Because by abducting individuals who have committed no crime. Because oh, why I'm saying so, Mr. Mavaza, you just said that those people who are being abducted are criminals. They are being arrested for intending to, which is not lawful. What, you, cannot you, arrest, you cannot arrest someone for intending to sleep, <laughs> for <laughs> intending to yeah. talk. You can't. But you don't read someone's mind. You they don't are, read someone's mind. Arrest, what is in their yeah. mind? They are arresting some. They are arresting, they are arresting so people they, because what people they, in their mind. What people what in down. their mind. Someone who is seated here. I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of demonstrating. Then the police will come and arrest me someone, to say you are, are you, thinking of demonstrating. Can you, That's wrong. That's not lawful. There is no law like that. Stop that in the balance mind of you. It's a banana set. Zimbabwe is a banana set. So what I was saying is, Mavaza was wrong to say those people who are being arrested today are criminals. Those are those are ne those people are not criminals because they have committed no crime. It's wrong for the government to just stampede on people's rights, abduct you, Simba, lock you up for no crimes committed. So it's I, wrong for Mr. Mavaza to support that. In the UK, police, they allow you to demonstrate. They allow, if you destroy someone's property, this is when you are arrested. Zimbabweans are allowed by their constitution to demonstrate. If they want to demonstrate, they can go and demonstrate. Peacefully, they're allowed. Peacefully, they're allowed to gather. Anywhere they want, the country belongs to every Zimbabwean. Being a president, you don't own anyone. You are a servant of the people. And you should not use those resources, the people's resources, against them as well. That is wrong, Mr. Mavaza. Okay, now so Zimbabwe, now at the moment, it doesn't have a government. Okay, thank you very much, Judah, for the nonsense you've been saying. Let me be very clear here. People are not being uh, arrested for intending. They are arrested for uh, uh, agitating people to come and rally up and demonstrate. The police are not simply arresting you for your thoughts. They are arresting you for, for what you have said, for what they have said, for what they have communicated to people. There is evidence what they have said, what they have planned. And they are planning. There, no, there is no evidence at all. They are no evidence at all. Paper and in the social media. And they are arrested for Social what? media, social and media, Mr. Mavaza. You can write as Shepard Yuda. You can write as Shepard Yuda. You are not Shepard Yuda. But you can follow. You can have an account. You can write as Shepard Yuda on social media. Yeah. What you are saying now is that and you have been doing it. You have been doing what, it. What you are saying now is a defense which you can raise in court. Should you be brought to court? Now, why? Why, why in the first place taking innocent people to court? Why uh, in the first place? To be clear, if they are innocent, the court will declare them innocent. But why arresting innocent people in the first place? You are abusing courts. You are abusing courts. You need to understand one thing, Yuda, which you... You are abusing which, courts. ...for you to understand. But let me explain this to you. Mm. If anywhere in the world, a person is arrested while he's innocent, and he can then be proven to be guilty by the court. You how, are not... Mr. Mavaza, how long should you detain someone when he's arrested in Zimbabwe? Uh, the, 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 you, they've got 24 hours, and then you can extend to 48 hours. And then... If it's but been, how long? Uh, how long has been the timbers and the likes been in custody? No, that is not the detention I'm talking about. They are in custody because they were detained in custody. You can be there as. Why long were they as arrested as in the first place? Because they were committing a crime, meeting without authority. For meeting the in timbers' house. Do you need an authority to come to your house? Do I need then, authority to, to write to the police that I'm visiting this month? Then, then, when the court opens. They are supposed to argue their point and show the court that where they were gathering is not a public place. If the court agrees with them, then they'll be free. That's the beauty of Zimbabwe. It allows you to go to court 
and argue your case, and then the court will make a decision which is not politically guided, which is actually free and fair decision from the court of law. That's why Timber and his gang will go to court. Again, I was trying to explain to you that the deployment of the army, it is everything to do with peace. It is to avoid the riots. It is to avoid this. One thing you must appreciate, um, uh, 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 Yuda, the law cannot be suspended because they are visitors. If you break the law, the police will arrest you whether they are visitors or no. You can then argue your innocence before the court. If the court finds you not guilty, you go home. If you can't do that. You can't do that. You cannot arrest the people for being in their houses. That's what you are saying. But we can only come up with the truth when the case is brought before the court. And then yeah, but, it, but in, in, initially, if I was a magistrate, I would not accept those people in court. I would not accept them. Then go to I wouldn't. I would tell the police that, look, where did you arrest them? At their house. No. What did they commit? What they crimes are, did they commit? They were arrested. They were gathering their, their no. house. It's yeah. their place. It's their yeah. house. They are allowed to gather there. You Those cannot people. do that. You can if you are if you are a properly trained policeman, yeah, you, you just resign and say, "Let me go. I can't do this." Yeah, you, know, you need to shut up for a minute. The seventy-eight people were arrested near Timber's house, not in Timber's house. No, no, no. They were inside Timber's house. That's, those are the facts. They are videos. They are videos. Those evidence. Are, pure evidence. Those, those are the facts which should be said in court and disputed if they can. If they cannot. Mavaza, <laughs> Zimbabwe courts. Zimbabwe courts are stuffed by your children. You are taking your children, making them magistrates. And then you just phone him, give him an order. Lock okay. timber in. Lock if, timber in. If the children are qualified, to sit Ooh, that oh uh, come on qualified allowed. qualified well, we, what qualifications do you need to be a magistrate in zimbabwe you have to, to have to have a, a training in law the magistrate the training in law so mavaz i worked at the court myself you worked at the court yourself yeah. there were magistrates there without a, a qualification in law no, in no, zimbabwe no 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 let me let me let me school you on that one a magistrate was those without degrees they would have diplomas in law. They were trained in Lomboshawa. And that's where they would get to <laughs> And they become either magistrates or... So, so you were nobody, hand-picking people nobody, nobody to give them diplomas? Yes. You were no. hand-picking people to give them diplomas to become magistrates and stampede on start. people's rights. Honestly. Now, Yuda, you are confusing. We are coming away from the, from, the, from the issue at hand. The issue at hand is that there is nothing wrong in the deployment of the army in in Chitunguiza or anywhere, so I've, I've I've clearly and, stated that and I that is hundred percent wrong. Munangagwa should never deploy soldiers. soldiers. He should be using police. He's got enough police. Buda, you are making a head spin. Can you can you listen first? I can't listen uh, to, to 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 rubbish sir. Yeah. because uh, Munangagwa has got sixty thousand plus police. And at least twenty or thirty thousand army. He should be utilizing the police. He has got enough manpower in no. the police. When he suspects that the people want to demonstrate, I'm telling he's you, got that specialists in the in the, the support press. unit to quell the riots, now, not the army.